Good evening, my name is James Hewitt and welcome to The Run Gallery. The Run Gallery is a new uh, vanity space slash commercial gallery. Uh, we opened August 2020 and um, have been showing solo shows of individual artists for each month from then until this month where we have our first group show. This group show celebrates a wonderful uh, array of talent on the spectrum of painters, mainly Canadian with the exception of one American artist. And uh, all of these talented uh, emergent and mid-career artists happen to be black artists. The gallery, uh, can, the title of the gallery can act as an acronym. So RUN uh, initially stood for Radically Underestimated Narratives. And that uh, acts as a highlight to our agenda and our, um, our programming for the year, I'd say the next seven months. We've got a very exciting lineup of artists each month after this one. And this show in particular, uh, is very exciting on the tail end of Black History Month, but uh, celebrating Black Futurism forever and uh, outside of the boundaries or confines of one month. With that being said, uh, this piece I'm standing beside right now is by the first artist to show at this gallery named Elixir Elliot. Elixir Elliot is not only a well-known muralist uh, here and around the world, but also an extremely talented painter, both conceptual and stream of consciousness. He really does depict the theme of this show entitled, No Danger in Being Enacted. This piece, uh, which is, um, an 18 by 24 done in aerosol on canvas is called Handed Down. And what we see here is a metaphor for oral history in uh, black culture and the black community. And knowledge from before is being handed down to the future. And the future is youth and the youth are depicted as naked until informed with this uh, with this knowledge um, and it's a traditional elderly woman most likely depicted in the Caribbean scene on a soapbox really just trying to school the youth on you know virtu virtuous and morally important lessons not to mention keeping your head up. So I'd say that this show, this sorry, this painting would uh, be a really perfect depiction and launch point for uh, this group show under the theme, No Danger in Being Enacted. Uh, not only am I the director of the gallery, but I'm also a practicing artist and my um, principal focus and medium is uh, charcoal and I usually apply charcoal to paper for drawings uh, including this one that I include in this show uh, feeling that it was uh, important and was in line with the, the theme of the show. So this is a brand new work entitled Los Tantos translated from Spanish uh, to English as The Fools, based on The Raft of the Medusa, which I decided to retitle The Raft of Fools, um, La Mesa de, de, uh, dos, de los Tantos, but I decided to give it a shorter uh, form, abbreviated title. Um, and this is an example of a mascot study that I've been working on lately where I've been seeing mascots and changing my perception of aesthetic 
especially through animals and other humans and using them as uh, metaphors, signifiers and metaphors in my work, I've decided to go a little bit further, pare down the aspects of reality and uh, venture further into uh, a surreal or even comical direction. And I think mascots are a wonderful representation of, of, uh, of that as a concept and I've used them as a principal um, uh, indicator of metaphor and I guess dynamicism in my work these days. So you have a uh, mascot of a horse uh, carrying a few different mascots. You've got a mascot of an eagle, a mascot of a duck, and a, an alligator. And they're all coveting this corn mascot here who seems to be unaware and um, therefore unaffected by this extreme coveting. The corn can be taken as uh, a few different meanings, but um, we all know the idea of coveting or having a deep want or need for something that may, may or may not be uh, superficial and therefore important, but definitely tantalizing. I think that sums up this drawing. Um, I like to experiment in both uh, materiality and, and medium, so I play around with a few different uh, paper types and a few different charcoal and chalk types, Conte types. And um, I'm always excited about the results that are yielded and, and achieved, and it's um, oftentimes it's a stream of consciousness when I'm actually making the work. So I'll do a little bit of research and, and try to uh, put it together uh, in an assemblage that uh, is a one-shot. So this would be a perfect example of that practice and process. So I wanted to say thank you for having me today. And uh, before I sign off, I just wanted to bring some attention to the current show up today. It's called no Danger in Being Enacted at the Run Gallery, 514 Annette Street in Toronto, Annette and Runnymede. And uh, its uh, gallery hours are 12 to 9, Monday to Wednesday and Friday. By appointment, which is very easy to do, you can contact us uh, through direct message on Instagram at The Run Gallery, or you can send us an email at uh, The Run Gallery at gmail.com. Uh, so the show is up until March 13th, and the artists included are Leonie McComas, oil painter and muralist and uh, designer, Elixir Elliott, muralist and painter and illustrator. Uh, collaboration between Flor Shum and Raul Olawu called Aura. Both painters, extremely talented. Uh, a city and public figure and painter named Complex. A uh, very special guest from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a painter and an MFA student, 2022, named Shori Sims, currently studying at Carnegie Mellon University School of Art. Kershia Wright, painter, and illustrator, and muralist. And uh, Raul Olowu has a, a piece uh, solo produced piece in the show as well and last but not or sorry myself James Hewitt with a charcoal tableau and last but not least uh, very prolific artist designer and all-around great person Doug Brown who will be showing at the gallery uh, whose show at the gallery will be the next one following this show later on in the month, and it's called Solar Maximum. Thank you very much.